The following segment is brought to you by Shutterfly. While the last year and a half has been difficult for those planning a wedding, with nearly half of engaged couples delaying their celebrations, the wedding industry has adapted to embrace new trends and traditions. Joining us now to discuss what you need to know when planning a wedding in 2021 is wedding expert Claire Roche. Claire, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm happy to be here and chat about all this. Yes. Okay. Well, let's start with this. Can you discuss some of the challenges that couples faced planning a wedding during the pandemic? Because I can only imagine. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. There were so many, so many. I feel like they're limitless. Um, but I mean, you plan a wedding just in general, and there's a lot of moving pieces and obstacles and expectations, and it's just a lot. It's a beautiful day, and that's that's why I do what I do. But um, you add a pandemic on top of it, and anything that's been considered normal or routine is no longer an option, and so you have to reconsider just about everything. So I think the biggest challenge that couples have experienced is really just reimagining their day. Things or people or places that you've always imagined being part of your wedding, all of a sudden we're not able to be part of it. And so you're having to reconsider and experience a high level of change, which quite a few couples have had to deal with, and it's been quite a challenge. Ultimately, it leads to asking the question, what do we really value? What do we really want on our wedding day? Mm. Which again, ultimately leads to a wedding that is more reflective and representative of what the couple actually wants as opposed to going through the motions per se. But nevertheless, it's hard to change right off the bat and make adjustments that maybe you're reluctant to. So I'm seeing a lot of smaller guest counts. I'm seeing a lot of different places that are hosting weddings. It's not a traditional venue anymore, perhaps, or whatever you may have envisioned. So there, there's quite a few challenges. There's the emotional challenges. There's the practical challenges. There's a myriad of things that yeah. are happening for couples as they plan their wedding. Yes, a lot. Okay, and Claire, how has the wedding industry adapted to embrace new trends and celebrations? What are you seeing? Yeah, it has been challenging. It's been fun. It's been, it just has felt in some ways like an explosion of creativity where we have always done weddings or done weddings typically one way and then all of a sudden it's not an option anymore and so you have to reinvent the wheel to some degree, right? At the end of the day, you still have two people choosing to get married, but everything else felt kind of in limbo. Um, and so I'm seeing a lot of different types of weddings, maybe not as many you know, hundreds of people at a wedding, but smaller, more intimate weddings, or we're talking a wedding weekend, which would be a Friday, Saturday, Sunday type of deal where Couples are bringing down their guest count or reevaluating really what, how they want to spend their time and money. Because before the pandemic, there had pretty much been a typical way to do the wedding. And nowadays, do a wedding, I don't feel as though there's as much of a typical wedding or a normal way to do a wedding because uh, you've had to reconsider so much. And so much of what we're used to was stripped from us. And so, um, so yeah, same wedding weekends, intimate weddings, backyard weddings, kind of the whole gamut. And what's kind of interesting is that I found that even if couples are reducing their guest count, bringing down their wedding, mm -hmm. um, they're still spending about the same amount of money and they're wanting to still have those unique elements. And so that's why it's been fun to have a place like Shutterfly where you can, you know, you can go online and you can find amazing customizable things. So maybe you end up doing a wedding weekend in the mountains or something. Yes. If you have 30 people, you can afford probably to do a custom blanket for everybody, which is such a fun, unique, detail-oriented piece, which people love. Yes. Uh, you might oh. not be able to do that with two or 300 people. Claire, so, I wish we could talk more yeah. about this. I'm so sad we're out of time, but if you have more questions and want more information, you can go to the website on your screen. I'm so glad we have professionals like you to help us through this time. Claire, thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful yeah. day. Thank you, you too.